Hi, I'm Vi Wickham, and this is another MyTalentForge.com quick tip of the week. This tip has to do with your relationship with your sheet music. Now, I don't know if you're married to your sheet music, or you're in a relationship, or maybe it's complicated. I think that uh, no matter how you describe your relationship with your sheet music, it's a very important one to consider. The way I like to relate to my sheet music is as casual friends. We're, we're acquaintances. Maybe we're, we're dating, but I need some free time without my sheet music. I need some space in that relationship. And it's something that all of you classical players out there should really consider. Sheet music is a very efficient means of communicating a melody. It is super efficient at communicating some level of nuance in the melody. It doesn't communicate the song completely. I think our ears are a much more effective way of communicating the whole music. Uh, in fact, I would wager with anybody that our ears are so much more nuanced than sheet music can possibly be, that sheet music is still a rather coarse way of communicating, but it's far more efficient at communicating details than tablature. So we've got our sheet music. It's a very effective way to store the sheet, to store a version of the melody, to store a recipe for the melody, and to communicate that to the next person. It's a great, very powerful development. The problem comes is a lot of us marry our sheet music. So when we marry our sheet music, we think that we can't live without it. We can't separate the music from the recipe. Now, what we know about cooking is that once we know the essence of the recipe, we can play around with it a little bit. The same thing goes with learning a song or learning a tune. Once we have that internalized, we can take away the sheet music. Once we've internalized that melody, you know, I can learn a melody from sheet music very quickly, but if I don't take that sheet music away, I really don't know that I've memorized that tune. Um, The sheet music isn't going to give me the feel of that song, but it, it will give me the notes very quickly. So once I've got the notes, and I've got those notes in my head, it's time for a little separation from that sheet music. My recommendation for you, my quick tip this week, is once you've got the tune in your head, take the sheet music away, set it aside, play it without the sheet music, and don't pull the sheet music back unless you really can't hear that next note in your head. If you can't remember how the tune goes, then you can pull that sheet music back, catch that tune, catch, catch what the notes are back, get it back in your head, then put it away for a while, and bring it back the next time you need a new tune. But get those tunes in your head and set the sheet music away and play from your heart because that's where it becomes real music. And that's your quick tip this week. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.